I'm Terry Brock with terrybrock.com. You know, video is a powerful tool for selling and for connecting with people. It's been used for a long time, of course, in television. Now we're seeing it on the net. Well, I want to give you an opportunity to find out from one of the best anywhere how you can do this. And that best person is Carolyn Strauss. She's joining me right now from her offices there in the Denver, Colorado area. Carolyn, thanks for being with us today. Aww, Terry, thank you for that sweet introduction. My goodness, one of the best ever. That's so sweet. Thanks. Well, I'm a big fan of yours, and you are just, a, of course, a good friend, uh, but also you literally are one of the best out there in selling from television, working with it. You've worked with HSN. How many years have you been with HSN? So I spent 18 years on HSN, on the Home Shopping Network, and we've sold over $160 million worth of $29 and $39 product mm. over the course of 18 years. So it's wow. It's a lot of airtime. Um, I like to joke it. It's, I sold a whole lot of clothing, good clothing, that people didn't know they wanted and didn't know they needed. And I got them off their couch to buy something that they didn't know they wanted or needed on a regular basis. Wow. So it's funny, when you asked me to do this, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about what is the difference between selling when you're on stage on the platform or when you're on television or on video because video is very intimate. I mean, this is a very intimate conversation right now. By the way, it also feels very weird. I'm gonna just keep going because it also feels very weird That's because, good. so if I wanna look at you, so I've got my webcam on my computer, yes? Yeah. If I am doing this, my natural instinct is to go here. See what just That's happened? That's right, to look eyes. down here like my that. Ad, my, natural distinct, my natural instinct, of course, is to speak to you, but you are four inches below where my camera is. So mm -hmm. you guys see the difference? So tip number one, the easiest one that people forget is that when you're selling or trying to connect on video, you actually have to connect through the little teeny camera and not look at the people who you're talking to. So Carolyn, that is so critical. I mention that all the time when I'm doing interviews because often people are looking over here at their monitor and they're talking to me like this and I say, well, how do you feel right now as I'm looking at you and I really feel that versus when I look over here to you like Right, this. it's a completely different experience, right? But the frustrating thing as a performer or as a salesperson or as the CEO of a company, whoever I am, my instinct is to actually even look down, not even at just you, but at me right? Mm -hmm. Because I need to check, is the hair okay? Is the makeup okay? I need to do all of that. So most, many of us spend most of our time, a lot of videos I've seen is when you're looking down. And how that equates to television is if you see somebody reading a teleprompter, there are different kind of teleprompters in television, yeah. and some of them are right in the camera. The really new, expensive, great ones, the teleprompter is right in the camera. So mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're looking straight at the lens and reading, and if you're good at it, your eyes don't do this. This, right yeah. but if you're good at it, it it looks natural but the older cameras had the lens here and the teleprompter on I'm sure you saw I've seen oh, yeah. it on the plate underneath and what you see is people's eyes going down again so key number one to doing anything on video make a connection and the connection happens through that little teeny dot in whatever your um, camera webcam is Absolutely. That's very, very important. I think that is as important as anything. When you're looking in there, make sure you see the person and you feel connected with that person. You know, don't, you're not looking down here like so that. It's so it's when, I, when I do video training for companies, like I'll do a lot of, I've actually started working with companies to have them put their um, employee manual on video. Nobody is reading the employee manual. So I'm working with executive teams, like the HR person does their part, the CEO does their part. It does two things. First, it keeps employees, people don't steal from people they know. So it keeps people from stealing. And it also, you can change it. The minute one of your policies or rules change, you can change it and you can make sure that people are actually watching the video. But the funniest thing is people who have not spent a lot of time on video don't understand that the key to this is put your best friend behind the camera. Like I imagine you're one of my dear friends, Terry. So I actually imagine, even though I can look down here and see you, I actually imagine you standing behind this camera and that's mm -hmm. who I'm talking to. Yeah, I like that. If you're in your mind, you're seeing that. It's very, very important. Now, another aspect of connecting with people, the most important part of video we know is audio. Yes. Audio has to be there. For example, right now, Carol, how is my voice coming through? Really clear. How's mine? It's coming through very well. And matter of fact, for those of you watching, you can notice the quality of the voice. And I want you to notice how it sounds now 
versus how it sounds now as I'm a little farther back. Now, you can, Carol, can you still hear me and understand the words I'm saying? But it sounds more echoey. It's not good because here's what I've done. I'm using, we're going to, okay, we're going to show the inside thing. Don't tell the grown-ups this, okay? But I'm using my Yeti microphone here. So this is a wonderful microphone. And you notice, by the way, notice where I have it. It's right there. You don't see it, but it's about that far from here to there from my mouth to the microphone itself. So this way I'm able to uh, make sure that I have good, clear audio all the time. And Carolyn, you pulled a special trick before we were there. Are we going to, are we going to show it? I'm going to tell people what we have done. Let me show you guys something else. So I have two microphones available to me on my computer, right? I have my webcam mic, my internal mic, but Terry and I tried that and it sounded a little blurry. So I have an external mic. It's a little mic. Watch this. It's actually... Do I still oh, have it? Oh, my. Here we go. We're getting to the R rate and stuff it's here. It's there. Look there at that. There we are. Yes, Look indeed. At that. <laughs> I took it and I stuck it right here so that you said yours is this far away from your yeah. mouth. So is mine. And yes. it's living right here so that you get good sound quality. So always check the sound quality before you start recording. And, um, Okay, Derry, that's going to cost you extra. That will cost you extra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, and well worth it, too. Well, <laughs> Thank you, know. my friend. I think that's important, the audio. You want to be there. Most people think or don't even think about it, and they're going to use the internal microphone on the computer. Okay. Sometimes that's okay, but more often than not, it's not. So well, if you're doing a lot of videos, audio would be really good. I think it also depends with who you're connecting with. Right. If it's a one on one coaching session where you're with somebody who you're familiar with and you work with them all the time. I have several coaching clients that I coach over Skype now, hopefully over Zoom. We're going to talk about Zoom, mm -hmm. but, but I, I, you know, coach over Skype. The microphone on the webcam is fine, but if this, if you're creating a product or working on a project that, that is for a lot of people, look, our TVs are now high def. Okay, our phones have a bazillion pixels. You know how many, Terry, right? Yeah. We're so used to good quality that if you want somebody to stay tuned in, you've got to bring them the quality at least as close as you can get to what they expect. Absolutely. That's really important. And I think also, here's another thing, we'll get into some of the psychology of it. It depends on the modality that a person favors. Some people are more visual, some more auditory, some more kinesthetic. If someone is auditory, you want to make sure that audio is really good. And I would say, even for that friend that you're just going to have a quick chat with, they can tolerate the poor audio that doesn't come through as clearly. But when that audio is there, something happens subconsciously. that They go, ooh, this is nice. I like this. It's, the person is more believable. And when we're talking about selling on video, you want to have everything working for you. You want your video strong. And you mentioned what the tool we're using right now uh, is not Skype. Today, we're using Zoom. We're available through zoom.us. I don't sell it uh, or any of that, but it's just a great little tool. And the video quality is really, really good. Carolyn, you'll see this when you watch the recording. And by the way, speaking of recording, for those of you watching this recording, Carolyn and I are both recording this by simply pressing one button. By pressing one button, we're getting vivid, clear, high definition quality recording that is stored on our computer. It's yeah. there, it's done, it's really nice. So Terry, explain something then. So zoom.us is a free product, right? Like it, Skype is they, free. They have a free version and they have paid version. So we get a free version and right now we're using my paid version. I pay, you ready for this, a lot of money for it. $10 a month. Wow. $9.99, yep. And then their high-end version is $15 a month. Fourteen ninety nine. What and do you get for that? Somebody does your hair and makeup before you get yeah, it on exactly. camera. Yeah, exactly. It's amazing what you can do. But no, they they have really put good technology into this. And uh, if you have the free version, you'll get similar kind of benefits, but you're limited to only forty minutes. So right. after forty minutes, it cuts out. But on the one that I have at nine ninety nine a month, less than ten dollars, I'm able to go for as long as I want, no cutoff. And they have various other benefits they give. They also have a webinar ability built into this, nice. so you could bring in up to three thousand people on the screen at the same time. So all of that goes back to selling on video. This is a great okay. way to sell. Absolutely. Now, I mentioned hair and makeup, kind of jokingly. It's not funny. You're it's right. a lot of work. 
okay? If you are going to connect to somebody on video, your environment matters. So we were talking about the audio, right? Audio is a piece of the environment. Mm -hmm. I want you to be very conscious also of the rest of your environment. I mean, yes, you are seeing my home office, which has some artwork and my little chakra um, flag, which makes me happy and, and feeds my soul. But you want to be very aware of what is going on around you. Like Terry, you've got all your books behind you. You're at your, you know, in your, obviously, in your office, in your library, which yeah, is great. Right. And but some of them more, haven't even been colored in yet. See? <laughs> they're just fake. I know they're just yeah, they are. yeah, it's a green yeah. screen. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's a green you're, screen. You're yeah, your green screen behind you. <laughs> but, the, but if you're a female, I have to say it. If you're a female and you're going to try to connect with an audience to either give them information or sell them something, how are you presenting yourself? And video, I got to tell you, the camera doesn't lie. Mm, it's particularly it's, HD. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh I was so Every upset. Wrinkle. So when I was at home shopping, they went to HD cameras um, about, <laughs> so I was there for 18 years. So about six or seven years in, they remodeled all the studios and went to HD cameras. And I'm like, why couldn't you guys have done that when I was six years younger? I'm like, come <laughs> on, this isn't fair. But really, the camera picks up everything. So you want to make sure that your hair and your makeup is presentable. It's actually one of the challenges for women to sell on Skype and work on Skype because it is that extra half hour of hair and makeup before we go on camera. I want you to think about working on video like being on television. And the other thing is, on television, now there are DVRs, but it used to be when something aired on television, it went away. This never goes away. Mm. This never goes away. I mean, if you look good, that's nice, and in five years, you can send it off to people and go, oh, this is what I looked like five years ago. But if you're having a bad day, mm. somebody's recording this. Somebody's always recording everything. So yep. this lasts forever. Carolyn, that so, is an incredibly good, important and very right? good point. Yeah. So look good, sound good, and be aware of your environment. Those are three really important tips that um, I wasn't sure of. And be aware of your environment. And be aware of the, the environment for phones ring. That ring from time right. to time. Right. So which, if uh, you're on a conference call, to do this. Mine is muted kind of right turn now. it off. Well, yes, so absolutely. Here. But those kind of things... Bye. You programmed that just like we arranged before, right? Uh, to have did, that Yes, we, we planned that call to come in. And so here's how subtle that was. Did you hear me? I actually turned on the mute and said, and I'm on a conference call, and I'll call you back. And then I hung up. So whoever it was will know that I will call them back. There you go. Very, See? very smooth. See? It's all <laughs> uh, about being a professional. Don't try this at home. No, do try this at home. Do try this at home. Yeah, turn yeah. the phones off. That's an important thing. I know. And let uh, me go back and put an exclamation mark behind what you said about your environment. And uh, we joke about the hair and I make sure I take care of my hair. But seriously, you it's want to be presentable because people will make judgments. And also, I remember, Carol, when I was working with Skype, so many times we do the interviews and I did a lot of interviews, video interviews with people on Skype. We get everything set. You you know, they get just right and set here and the microphone is now working, the lighting and everything. And then we get ready to go and I go, oh, uh, <clears throat> Bob, uh, you might not want that particular picture that's over your left shoulder for everyone to see. And he looks and goes, oh, yeah, I better get rid of that. And I go, you know, so be aware of your environment. Usually when you're on the phone, when you're on the phone talking, you don't worry about what's right. around you. But we're in an environment now where video matters. So things that you normally wouldn't let the world see now the entire world can see it. They're coming in at high definition. And so, whoa, yeah. be ready. Let me say something else about that, too. Your environment helps you set your intention, right? Sales is all about intention, right? Basic sales is intention. It's what do I have that can support or help or make someone else's life or work easier or better. So the intention behind it, you have to show up energetically and physically modeling the intention that you want. I mean, this is very clear. I'm doing this with you. I love your audience. I watch your videos all the time, Terry. I think you're you. brilliant at this, but I want to be of service to your audience in terms of showing them how easy it is to sell something when you're very clear about what it is that you provide for the people who are shopping from you. It's not about making money. The money is a byproduct of creating a value or a service. That's it. Absolutely. 
Yeah, it's very, very important to do that. Now, Carolyn, I'm going to find out some more. You have such a wealth of information, and you do this so brilliantly. Like you said, sales of over $160 million. That, uh, I don't know about you, but where I grew up out in the country, we called that serious money. And uh, it's very nice. So if you have something there on your desk that we could just kind of role play or pretend that you might be saying that like you would pick up and just and sell that to us, maybe just for a couple of seconds here, show us what you're doing sure. and how you would sell it and sure. uh, maybe go through it and then tell us what you're doing and how to do that, particularly on video. Absolutely. And after I do it, you're going to go next. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not messing around. We're going to teach okay. people how to do this. So what I, you guys ever sitting and watching your, um, your computer screen and something comes up and it's really small and you can't see it, right? Doesn't that make you crazy? Or you're reading a book and all of a sudden your eyes get tired. So here's my solution to that, right? These are reading glasses. And the cool thing about reading glasses is you can find them anywhere. These particular ones are available only through this website. Now, the reason I like these is because isn't it important that what goes on your face looks good on you. Doesn't it matter if you're gonna be selling on video, don't you wanna present an image that actually um, makes you look like the authority? Don't I look like I know what I'm doing now? Mm. So, so it's not just about having glasses that of course make things clearer and easier to read, but these are glasses, you put them on your head, you wear them as a headband. It takes care of all of your ocular needs. So imagine a pair of glasses like this would probably cost you, I don't know, $30, $35, right? Because they're really good and really good quality. Right now today, if you buy them now, they are only $9.98 and you get the beautiful case that comes with them. So just wanted to show you these glasses and see if it's something you're interested in. Bravo. Yes, indeed. Carol, that is marvelous. Talk about making it up on the spot. Yes, you're good. <laughs> and by the way, those of you watching this, you, they, you go back over this on recorded. It's recorded and watch that again. Notice how Carolyn did what she did and think about how you can take that and move it into the products that you have, which would be extraordinarily important. And those types of things really work. And this is how we can make money today. It's how we're living, selling and working on video. So what I did, just so you guys know the secret to it, is we've all heard you don't sell the drill, you sell the hole, right? We've all heard that for years. The point is that these are good quality. They're made of whatever, they're whatever plastic they're made of. There's really good glass in here, but nobody cares. What people care is that they can't see when they go to read something. That's the problem that they want to solve. That's what they care about. And also, it's got to be um, genuine. I mean, these are my reading glasses. You said pick something from my desk. These are my reading glasses. I need them to read small print now. So, um, you know, being over 30 as I am now. So, I thought um, it was 25. Aw, mm -hmm. I, yes, I am over 25 too, Terry. Thanks. Oh, okay, but, good. <laughs> <laughs> right? But, but, I mean, that, may, that was just a little teeny example on how to get people to see what they're missing by not having it. That's mm -hmm. what selling is. What are you missing by not having it? I sold all of these clothes and it was not about the clothing. Look, anybody can make a pair of pull-on polyester pants, right? Any clothing can do that. But it's, do you have pants that after you've sat down at a meeting for three hours and you st stand up, there are no wrinkles in it. That's what I'm selling. I'm selling you look good three hours later, mm. right? So, so think, about, think about a product that you have, Terry. Think about something that's either on your desk or a product that you have. Now sell it to me using the, how am I missing out by not having it? Your turn. Okay. Okay, here we go. And by the way, those of you watching this, we did not rehearse this before. So Terry's making this up extemporaneously. Here we go. It'll be something like that. It's often really important to know what time it is. We know that. We need to know that. We've got watches for that. But it's also really good to see how you're improving. Like, did I do it in less time this time than before? And I'm using something now that's really nice, my black plastic watch. I can take this and go down, and it, of course, gives me the time. One of the nice things about it, it gives me the time in the 24-hour time, showing it's 1707 right now, which is what it is now, or it could also go back to 5.07 p.m. So we can do it either way, but it's particularly nice. Here, let me show you this right here. 
there's a stopwatch on here. You might think, why would you want a stopwatch? Well, this is good for improving your health. It's a way for you to find out, am I doing better in that run or in that activity and make sure that I'm getting my health improved because of a little black plastic watch. Feeling better, doing better. Plus, I can also time, you ever have one of those phone calls that just seem to go on and on and you kind of lose track of time? Well, with this, you can time how long it's going to be. You simply click the button and it takes care of that. Now, those features right there would be enough. But another really nice thing, yeah, I'm going to show you this. The other night right here in our complex, power went out. Does every so often, now and then, power went out. And uh, my clocks, which had been set for a time to get up, did not go off at that. We lost everything and it reflashes, flashing 12 and those kind of things. But this little black plastic watch has an alarm on there as well. So that it's okay. conveniently... Quietly for everyone else, but for you, it's enough to get the job done, can wake you up, and if you lose electricity, you're still there. Now, this is talking about your life, knowing the time that's there, keeping in shape, being able to time activities, being able to use an alarm so that you're able to get up when you want to and do it. All of this right here, and you'd think this something like that would easily be worth $100, and people will buy watches that have that. But today, this black plastic watch is going to be yours. I know it's kind of silly, $15 instead of $115. And by the way, today we're throwing it in in plastic so that that way you can even take it swimming with you or out in the rain. It will be waterproof, all packaged up, but it's only now available for another 15 minutes here on Terry Shopping Network. That was pretty good. Yeah, did I do that all right? That was pretty good. It was pretty good. A couple things. How can I so tweak it and make it better? For your audience who's, who's listening to this, you know how you said the other night the electricity went off in my house? Mm -hmm. Instead of that, you could say, have you ever had the electricity go off in your house? Ah. And you know for a fact that you're going to sleep through your alarm because your alarm isn't going to go off. This watch has an alarm on it. So you will never have to worry about oversleeping. Okay? The other thing is you said, you know, sometimes it's, this is good for your health. I got that, but it was kind of a stretch. You could say, have you ever tried to power walk or ride a bike or do anything that you want to get better timing-wise over time? Imagine if once a week you had a mechanism that would allow you to time yourself once a week doing this thing so that you know that by next week, you'll be faster or you'll be better or you'll be more efficient. Or for the rest of us, do you know how to boil a really good egg? It was a challenge for me. I learned that if you put the eggs in and you start them at cold and you bring it to a boil and you boil them for 12 minutes, then you turn them off, leave them five more minutes and then put them in the um, cold water and rinse them off, that actually makes a perfect um, hard boiled egg. I didn't know that until I got this watch ah. and I looked it up. See, so it's just, you did great, but you know what I'm saying? It's even make it find, find that teacher who needs to time her students tests, find that lawyer who needs to time their phone calls, find that. And anytime you say something that connects to a specific group, other groups extrapolate from that. But that one group goes, Oh my gosh, I have to have this. Yeah, absolutely. Carolyn, that is fabulous. Thank you. Thank you You're so welcome. much. Oh. For that. that is uh, amazing. And those of you watching this, think about it. This is the key. What Carolyn was saying has sold you know, lots and lots, over 160 million that she did personally. And think about the same philosophy and the kind of ideas that others have used, uh, not only on HSN, the Home Shopping Network, but other areas too. And this applies to you now. You might be a person who is a coach. You might be a speaker, an author. You You've got a book out. Well, it's nice to have the book and you can sit and read to me from your book. That's good. Show me how it's going to change my life for the better. Show me how it's going to solve a problem that I have. And video is an excellent way to do that. What do you think, Carol? Oh, I completely agree. It is the best way to connect, but it depends how you show up to do the connection, right? If it's a sales pitch, again, People feel that. Yeah. It's icky. It feels icky. Yeah. If it's, I have, I love what you do, Terry. You're 
bring so much information away, complementary to your clients and your customers and the people that you work with. You do that so that they see the value in what you're giving so that when there is something that is of extra value and costs more, they're going to be willing to, to give you, you know, show you the money. Yeah, the idea is that you give lots of value and then people realize that when you've got something for sale, hey, it's even better. Or and- you have something that really makes a difference. I Absolutely. work with companies all the time with their sales teams. And the first thing is I, I'll ask them is I said, do you like what you're selling? And if they don't like it and they don't see the value in it, I'm like, you should find another job. Yeah. You've got to like what you're selling. For those of us who are speakers and coaches and trainers, which I know I am and a lot of us are, um, it's sometimes very hard to sell your own stuff, right? But just see it as if they don't have it, what are they missing out on? Yep. If they don't have it, what are they missing out on? That is important. Very important words. And Carolyn, I know you help a lot of people. You've got a lot of training sessions you offer. You do a lot of coaching. Matter of fact, before we started recording, we were talking about a coaching client that you're working with right now to solve some real world problems. Yes. Help them. You do this a lot. You've got products. You have a host of ways that you can help people in this. If someone says, hey, I really want to get in touch with Carolyn, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? They can send me an email at carolyn at carolynstrauss.com. Or if you want to give me a call, if you're a phone call person, I love phone calls, 213-291-1896. It's U.S. area code 213-291-1896. Very good. I like the way you repeat that. That's so important, particularly for those that are listening to this on audio. So this is one that you want to go back over. This is not just a one-time view. Go back and study this, pausing the video. Take advantage of what's available and apply these principles that Carolyn talked about, that she showed you exactly how you can do this and what can be done to really improve your bottom line and to make your selling better. Carolyn, any final words before uh, we say goodbye? Thank you are always good final words. Um, (laughs) Final (laughs) words. Here's the thing. Also, if you're having fun, your audience will have fun. And like I said, the camera doesn't lie. If you're liking what you're doing and you're engaged, they're going to be engaged with you. If you're just doing another video and it's nothing, they're going to feel it. So show up as your best self with the intention of providing something that they didn't have before they saw you. And you'll do great. Absolutely. Carolyn, you're wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. And for those of you that are watching this, thank you for being with us. We we'll look forward to hearing from you. I'm Terry Brock. You can reach me at the website, terrybrock.com.